So it's a Shinden Fudoryu uh, seminar, Shinden Fudoryu uh, Jutaijutsu, Daken Taijutsu. The name, the name of the style, Jutaijutsu Kenjutsu, was not really uh, pronounced or used back in the days. Why? Because when you said or when you start to talk about the feature of your own school, it's already gone. A martial artist, especially someone who practices ninjutsu, never, never, never give the right or the clear direction of what he does, of what he can do. Why? Because this is a way of educated and cultivate a special mind of practice. If you said what you can do, you give a lead to your enemy. And giving a lead to your enemy of what you can do or what you want to do, it's not good. Now, if of course you give a force or you try to mislead, this is good. This is what martial art is about. You never give the reality or any information of what you can do it. Or if you give information, it's already vague. Already vague. Always, always, always vague. You never give a true, um, a true information. So that's why uh, sometimes they said Jutai Jutsu, sometimes they said Daken Tai Jutsu, but it's the same. It's the same. The only thing is Daken Tai Jutsu use a way of striking very different. Jutai Jutsu, they use striking, but they are also using a lot of wrist lock and things like that. The way of, the, the only uh, change is the way of striking. Should not, be, sh like always, you should never show the way you strike. Huh? So we're going to practice uh, the Shinden Fudoryu, uh, whatever you want. Huh? <laughs> taijutsu or Daiken Taijutsu. There is weapon, there is many things. And uh, before uh, starting that, uh, I would like to introduce you to the scroll and uh, how it is and what we're going to practice. Some of you here have already, I, I did already one time here, Shinden Fudoryu uh, first level. And I think it was pretty much a long time ago, maybe two years ago. So yeah, yeah, yes, in DC. So some uh, have been there, some maybe forget, but it's good. It's always good to watch it again. And for the other, of which is the first time, I hope you're going to like it. Okay, you can come close, huh? not too close, but uh, enough close. Like this, you can see uh, how it's about. Uh, okay, uh, actually there is Free book like that, free book like that, free. And it's pretty big like that. This is what we call Densho. And there is two Makimono uh, scroll, it's a rolling thing. So this is what I've seen. There is maybe something more, but this is what I have seen. Huh? There is one called uh, Shinden Fudoryu Daken, one Gokui, one Keriaku. So it's a history and things like that. Mm? And each of them have a different section. All those sections deal about one level history and things like that. And the way, the way you can see the selection and everything, you can understand very well that the one who wrote that have a relationship with Koryu and know about Koryu. Each Koryu, each scroll have a way of being writing down. So you need a model. When you understand this model, you know if it's a Koryu or not. Directly Shinden Fudoryu, it's a Koryu. The only thing is this school uh, you hear about this school just because of Takamatsu Sensei, but not only. Uh, there is a lot of strong connection with the primary high school, uh, like uh, Aya Shizuki, Ryu, etc., etc. So this is only one. I don't have the, the other one. I'm sorry. Uh, I think just this. It's already a pain uh, to learn, uh, but it's okay. And uh, I'm sure most of you here are already uh, familiar, or you have seen already. A, uh, uh, sorry. Shinden Fudoryu and uh, the tape of uh, the DVD of Quest. It starts directly from a level with the technique Nichi, Geki, and Gekan. This is uh, not what we're going to do today. We're going to do what's come first. This is when you have a more highest level. So Shinden Fudoryu. And you open, it's Takagyushin. I'm trying to make a mistake. Shinden Fudoryu, huh? here it is. And it starts with a very big kanji. Huh? Shinden Fudoryu Shiron. Shiron. Shiron means debate, uh, debate on history, talk on the history. And here we explain things about Shinden Fudoyu. So very quickly, huh? very quickly, at the beginning, they said that the school is born in a place called Oshinokuni. Oshinokuni. Oshinokuni, it's a whole name for said kata, kata, Katamaki no Kuni. And actually, it's Oyama. 
Yamato, very close from Iga and Koga. Hmm? And uh, especially where there is a very famous family called Nawa. Huh? It's a very famous family of warrior Nawa. Huh? Actually, one of the last uh, men died, the one of the Masakiryu. And uh, the school at the beginning, uh, of course, always, always the school have been tough in the Ishi Soden, and never the name, the name never been tough. Name was the highest level technique, so you never spell the name of the school. I go quick because uh, uh, first it's Spear, Nodachi, Naginata, Jo, and Taijutsu. And they said that for the Taijutsu, it's pretty much uh, vague. We don't know if it's striking, but a lot of things using spear and weapon. And at the beginning, the school uh, Shinden Fudoryu didn't have the name we know nowadays. The name was more like... Uh, just a moment, just a moment, just a moment. 